before we start building our movie car component, we need to review the design and identify the fields that make up the car, as well as what our markup might look like. And as a side note, when writing markup, it is important to have a clear idea of how the component will behave on both mobile and desktop. Because writing markup that naturally adapts to any device size without forcing things into place is always recommended. So let's plan our fields. Here I see an image, and when we hover over the card, I see the movie title, we see a favorites toggle icon, the NPAA rating, and the rating stars. All right, so in the code base, I created a folder called movie card, because that's what we're gonna name the component. And as indicated before, all the files in here also start with movie card. And most components will need a JSON file to declare the fields, uh, a SAS file for the styles, and a Twig file for the markup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is structure the components data in the JSON file. I'm gonna put in the values I saw earlier in our mockup. Uh, and here I've added our cover image, uh, heading, which is an object, the average rating, the MPAA rating, and a synopsis is there if there is one. All right, so now I'm gonna add the base markup and I'm gonna add some notes on what we need for our component. All right, so here I've decided to make it an article tag with the class movie card, which is the same as the component, and pass it a variable for the modifier and some variables for the Drupal attributes, uh, and the title prefix and uh, title suffix variables. And I've created comments based on where I think each piece of the component should go. So I've got all the structure from my JSON file we made earlier. See, I have the cover image, the heading, and so on. This is my plan to try to also uh, iron out the markup before I get started. Okay, so at the very top of the component, we're attaching this library called movie card and the Netflix theme library, but we haven't made that library yet. So let's go to uh, the Netflix theme libraries.yaml file and create a library with the assets that we expect the card to have. I usually like to copy and paste from here and then change the name. So I know that the formatting is correct. And what this will do is it will tell Drupal that we have some CSS files or in some cases JavaScript files that we want to load with this component every time it's called. The best part about this is that the assets are only loaded if they are called rather than being added globally. Some of the values here can be their own reusable components. And for the sake of simplicity, I went ahead and made them and I'm gonna copy these uh, components into my source components folder and uh, all right so we have our add to favorites our average rating and our MPAA rating um, so I'm going to look at these in pattern lab and see they're all here so by doing this I can create reusable components so maybe the um, rating any of either of the ratings can be reused not only on the movie car component, but I can also use it in the hero. I could use it on the, the movie information page and so on. All right, so I'm gonna start with the cover image. This one will not be its own component. Uh, I'm gonna print the value in the markup. So first I'm gonna give it a conditional that says, if there is a cover image, show this markup and the cover image value. And when this renders, it will display the value provided in the cover image key in our JSON file. All right, so next I'm gonna do the heading component. We can reuse our existing heading component here, the one that we made in a previous video. So we're gonna follow the same logic. Uh, if there is a heading, include the heading component and pass it the heading value we have in our JSON file. By passing the key heading, we are passing the entire heading object that is in our JSON file. Here we are mimicking the structure of the heading component. See, we have our title, our URL, and heading level. 
I'm going to paste in the rest of these components just to save on time since they follow the same structure. Uh, the last thing that I've done is I've added some styles. I've added uh, styles for each part of this component, uh, the movie card, the, the movie card image, the headings, and so on. All right, so now that I have all my markup and styles, I can check this out in Pattern Lab. So I'm going to run NVMUs, and just a note, there's no need to run this every time. It's only when you start the project or after coming back uh, to the project from working on other projects. Uh, then I'm going to run NPM Run Watch. And I'm going to click on the link to get to Pattern Lab. I'm going to find my movie co card component. And cool, so great. Now we have our movie uh, card component. And again, this is only in Pattern Lab. So let's learn how to integrate it with Drupal.